Well, Mike uh, and everyone, welcome to the episode of the Hector Mike Experience. As we about to uh, end this year, we've got some. Uh, I, at first, I thought it was a, it was a joke. I thought it was fake. I thought it was one of these Babylon or B or the Onion article when I read about the IRS now asking thieves, people who steal property, that in their 2021 taxes that they need to file the stolen property at fair market value to declare that property, pay taxes on it, unless they return it within a year to the rightful owner. I mean, this is, I mean, for me it was, is this just another way of government, way of dealing with retail theft? No, th this is just another example of 2021 being the year of you can't make this shit up. That's that's really what it is. It's a it's the the crowning cherry on top of the Sunday that says you can't make this stuff up. And and you know the the funny part is that well, it's not funny. I mean, the serious part is they they want to um, they when I say they I mean the the Congress, uh, some members of Congress, and the administration as part of their um, legislative efforts want to give the IRS more power and the government more power to be able to go into your bank account if you have over $600 in it to make sure you're, you know, you're not squandering money or not paying taxes on something. Right. Um, you know, and that's part of getting the 1% of 1% that don't pay their fair share of taxes that somehow is the solution. Again, I think that the theme here is you can't make this shit up. And and so, you know, that's, it doesn't, in a way it's funny and in, its, in another way it's sad because it's another example of um, government failure. I mean, if you, if you wanna do something, create laws that stop people from stealing stuff and, and not make it profitable for them, but yeah, I, I don't know who came up with that one, but, <clears throat> you know, they go into the 2021 Hall of Fame if you can't make this stuff up. It really well, is just nuts. And the thing is, you're right. Just increase the penalties. Make it make it, make it it less profitable or, you know, make it less, you know, where you want to go out for individuals who want to go out and steal. Um, make it make the pain hurt. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the, the thing that I'm going to really be interested in, I mean, okay, aside from this being – Probably one of the dumbest things I, I've seen government try to do. It's like, hey, thieves, you know, filing your tax return for 2021 is how many people are actually going to file it? I'm curious to see if in a year or two from now, how many people actually do end up filing that that particular box. Um, and, you know, and let's say, for example, someone does file it. Then what happens? Is law enforcement, you know, notified if it's over 950 bucks? Well, I mean, you know, this this is a national thing that they want to do. So, right. you know, each state is is different. California, I think California is probably one of the only states that gives you, you know, nine hundred and fifty dollars of free stuff first that you can steal before they prosecute you. Um, just another reason that you know we live in such a wonderful state here. Uh, but you know, it's, there's fifty different laws, um, and the, you're right. I, I think it's the funniest part will be there will be people that see that. There will be people that, that, that actually declare that. I'd love to be working for H&R Block or one of the one of the other tax services when the guy comes in and says, oh, yeah, I want to declare $1,500 on this 72-inch TV that I bought or that I stole um, and see what, see what the guy says. Uh, you know, I, I don't expect, you know, I think back to, to 2020 and some of the riots that took place there around the country, including here in Los Angeles. I don't see a lot of people, you know, standing in line waiting to take stuff back to Walgreens or, or you know, that kind of thing, um, or CVS or someplace else that they stole uh, stuff from. I don't think any of the people we saw last month that, you know, went on this... Uh, stealing, uh, uh, what is it, snatch and grab um, uh, uh, outbreak that they have. Right. Uh, you know, stealing the the uh, Da Vinci uh, purses and all that kind of stuff. You know, can you imagine that one at Christmas time? 
someone gives their kumara a, a, a you know a fancy purse and then says oh honey <laughs> i stole this but but we still have to declare it on our taxes yeah yeah that's the new american family for 2021 well what what about your neighbor if the neighbor hasn't returned your hammer or the ladder that they borrowed a year ago does that get declared <laughs> When, when does it become stolen property? Yeah, you know, I don't know. If, if they haven't returned it in a year, I mean, do, do you have to declare it? I don't know. Well, you know, I mean, this, I can see a new Judge Judy show coming out, you know, instead of the, you know, the people's court or something, it'll be tax court or IRS court. And, you know, they, they use the lawnmower or they use the ladder and you still haven't seen it. And, you know, do you declare it on your taxes or not? And how much is the worth of it? It's... It's just stupid. I mean, and and again, it just goes to it's it's funny to make fun of, yeah. um, you know, because it shows the incompetence of government here and and the silliness. I mean, you know, there's there's things that are you know, oh geez, I wish they would get this right, um, like maybe the virus, um, you know, and and then it's just plain stupid. And you know, you, as someone once said very eloquently, you can't fix stupid. And so, thinking that people um, are going to, you know, as another way to raise tax dollars, um, people are going to declare stuff that they've stolen. Um, you know, which in this thing, in this ruling, it doesn't give you um, eliminate your liability or your exposure, your criminal exposure. It's just stupid, and and you know someone someone somewhere, you know whether it's in an office in Washington D.C. or you know at the Treasury Department where IRS is housed or whatever, should have said you know it's amazing no light bulb went off and said, man this is a really moronic idea and we're going to look like jackasses for putting this out. That's disconcerting that 